This work is by Erica Gray. She is a Queensland artist and it's called Biofat. Here we have a series of tubes, here is a series of stitching. It's a, a beautiful soft sculpture work. It's expansive, it's big, uh, it's larger than life. It tells a very, very strong narrative. But the story behind this work is really a very serious question about the way that we produce food. And Erica is suggesting that in the future, we have a sustainable food production. She's making quite a strong social commentary about the treatment of animals in today's world and how many of the times battery hens, farm husbandry, farming, hides the sort of darker side of the way that we actually eat meat. So where birds have their beaks cut off or animals are treated very badly uh, in terms of food production. So this is a, a very sort of playful look into the future about what would a future look like if we had a sustainable food production that we created our own protein without having to treat animals in the way that we do. What's interesting to me also about the actual technical side of this work, because it's incredibly complex, uh, is that Erica has worked in fashion for the last 20 years and she has approached this work very much like a fashion designer. So she has created patterns and tested and trialled the actual work. And much of the stitching that ordinarily would be hidden within a fashion garment is exposed. So she speaks about the work where she has great pleasure in, in actually stitching all these quite complex components together and showing the stitches uh, and showing all the seams uh, within the work. We have an eye that represents sort of the beast of the animal and we have incredible claws and teeth uh, that go with, with it. So it's, it's a work that inspires imagination and I'm sure that a lot of children will respond really well to this work as well as adults. One of the things that um, Erica also is going to take into the future is her exploration of technology. So she wants to take her practice into three-dimensional printing, 3D printing, uh, to actually complement the sculptural aspect of her work. So it's a, it's a wonderful celebration of the imagination and stepping outside of her usual pattern of practice and creating something amazingly dynamic and wonderful for us to think about.